welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Olina and I'm a knitter from Norway. Today I'm finally going to get to cast on camisole number no. 9 by My Favorite Things Knitwear and I thought I'd just take you guys along with me as I knit up this project, kind of as a project vlog. And to start off I'm going to be knitting the camisole in this color. It's really hard to capture on camera. It looks different in kind of every shot I try to take of it, but it's this really like bright, vibrant green. And I was a bit unsure of which color to knit the camisole in if I wanted it in like a really subtle color, like a neutral color, black, pink. I wasn't sure, but I also really want something like really vibrant in my summer wardrobe so I decided to go with this and I'm also thinking that the camisole number no. 9 is probably going to be a staple in my wardrobe so this is probably not going to be the only one of them I make so I'm going to make one in a really vibrant color and then maybe next summer I'll make one in like black but that's the color and in anticipation to be able to cast this on I have made two swatches I started to make a swatch first in uh, on the needle that the pattern calls for, which is 3mm, but already before I blocked this swatch, uh, it measured over 10... I cast it on 32 stitches, because uh, the gauge is 30 stitches, and already before this one was blocked, it measured uh, about 11 centimeters. so that... I thought that would not work with the gauge, so just before blocking I also cast on a little swatch using 2mm and this swatch on the 2mm, first of all I like the way the stitches look a lot more and the fabric it created, um, it did make a much like sturdier kind of piece of fabric it's much more tight knit um and also before blocking this measured at like nine and a half centimeters and since this is super wash since i'm using drops by merino um that blocked out to be just about uh, just uh 10 centimeters exactly so I am going to knit this project on two and a half millimeters, so it's go uh, going to take quite some time. But I'm very happy that I actually did make swatches for this project because this is like a project that's going to take quite some time since it is on so small needles. So I'm happy that I ended up swatching so I don't make it all on three millimeters, which is also quite a small needle, and then it just ends up being too big. But so really happy that I made swatch for this. Yeah, and I swatch. It's going to be a two millimeter project, a two and a half millimeter project, and I'm also going on a trip this weekend and a bit of next week. So I'm, I think this is going to be the project. If not, it's either going to be the project I bring with me on the trip or one of two. Not sure yet. So. But I'm really excited to start working on this, uh, even though it's basically been raining here all summer. We got like um, a week or maybe two of like really nice summer weather and after that it's basically been like it's fall. So I'm hoping that I can kind of manifest summer weather again with knitting this camisole. But I'm not going to babble on any longer, I'm just going to get started and cast on. day two of working on this and I actually got quite a lot done yesterday. I had a movie night with my sister 
and she crochets so we just did quite a lot of crocheting and knitting so I got quite far so this is like the front panel and that's all done so now I'm working at the back and I've connected I've connected the pieces in the back as well so now I'm just working on that and hopefully I will be able to connect the body today because I'm leaving tomorrow and I really want this as like my easy project where I just do stock net in the round but <laughs> to get there I have to finish the back and just connect everything my one issue now, now though that I see is that when I made these watches I didn't really care about um, the gauge uh, I checked the gauge like this length but not this length so it's uh, maybe turning out to be a bit short because my gauge, I think my gauge is off here um, but also I'm thinking that can be blocked out and it's not that off so even though I noticed pretty quickly that it might be a bit off I've still continued so I think my plan is to just continue and make it and then I think it will turn out okay and it can be blocked so but that's kind of where I'm at and I really love how this green is working up and I really love the fabric and knitting this on two millimeter makes I'm still on my first skein I think it's going to take me quite some time to get through skeins with this project because I'm knitting on such tiny needles and everything takes quite a long time but I'm quite excited about my progress so far it's looking really 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 tiny but it's also on a 40 centimeter cable so it's looking a lot tinier than it is because everything's on that but I am really excited about this and I think it's going to turn out just fine. time I updated on the this camisole since last time I've actually spent almost a week in Oslo and I did pack with me this camisole and actually another sweater as well to go on a week's trip to Oslo with the toddler and I realize now that I really overestimated how much time you have to knit when traveling with the toddler but uh, I just wanted to update you because it's been a while um, it's still looking like this. I brought this project because I have connected under the arms and everything so it's just right like a stockinette uh, project now just knitting around and around and around in stockinette on two and a half millimeters so you, like there's a lot of stockinette to be done um, but since this was like I just plain stuck in that project and my other project that I brought with me to Oslo was like multiple colors and two stranded and just I was just starting that project as well this was like my bag project that I was taking around with me in case there was ever some quiet time where I could knit and there really wasn't any quiet time because I was traveling with the toddler so I got like nothing done so this is pretty much where I left off or pretty much where I was before I traveled to Oslo so I'm really excited to like be back home and be able to knit on this a bit I'm thinking that this will kind of be my daytime uh, knit at home that I knit on while my son is awake and like playing around and the other project I started on will be what I need to in the evenings so but I'm really excited to be able to knit this up and I hope I am able to finish it 
before summer is over, even though we haven't had a lot of summer weather lately anyways. But I think what I'm going to do next now is to try to do the neckline and the arms because I want to see how it looks and see if it looks more like something adult size because this looks like ridiculously small right now and I just want to like try it on and see how it fits if it was stupid of me to go down to two and a half millimeters or if that worked out so <clears throat> that's what I'm going to do next just finish up all the like edges so it's easier to try on and like see how it looks but that's the quick update for this there's not really much to update you on to do another quick update I have finished all of the edges now as you have probably seen but I've finished all of the edges um, when picking up for the edges I didn't read the pattern that well so I picked up from like the stockinette side and I realized after having picked up and done a couple of rows that if you want that like line that the pattern has here you have to pick up from like the wrong side the pearl side and then sew down but at that point I just did not want to go back I did not want to pick up the stitches again and doing a couple of rows on two millimeter needles did not want to repeat that either so I just decided to go with it so on all of the edges I have just done them plain as you can see and to be honest I'm really happy with that result as well uh, it's not really bothering me if I'm going to make it again maybe I'll try to do it the other way but I think it looks just really simple and it's not like it looks bad it's just like that part of the design I don't have but after doing all the edges it's looking more like a top and not some baby clothes uh, and I tried it on and it did fit it was a bit snug um, it's very tight fitting and it's a bit short it was very snug in the armpit but I could like feel when I was wearing it that it was not that that tight fitting and I do think once it's washed and blocked it will suit perfectly I would rather it be a bit tight fitting now than it being too big because you can block it out but you can't really block it smaller so even though it was a bit small I am continuing forwards and I don't think it's going to be that big a problem really since I can block it out and it's super wash so it's probably going to grow anyways so now I just have to work on the body I'd say I have like 11 or 10 centimeters under the armhole here so I have a bit to go still and if you saw me trying it on I still it's not really covering my chest yet even so I have a couple of rows to do on this definitely but this has kind of been on the back burner since I finished the armholes because we are actually currently having some extreme weather uh, it's raining a lot and everything here in Norway uh, especially like in the area around where I live so uh, camisole has not really been what I've been grabbing towards when it's like bad weather outside I'd rather reach for a big comfy knit uh, and something a bit warmer than this but I do think 
I will work on it soon and definitely feel like more at ease now that I know it fits. It's just a bit snug. It's not like it doesn't fit at all. So very excited to finish that, this uh, and I'm very excited to block it and see how that goes. But that's my little update on this. just going to do one final last update on this camisole number nine before it's done. It's very nearly done. I am actually at like the point where I'm going to do the one pearl round and then do the other rounds to make this edge here but down here. But I just wanted to show because I think it's really fun because uh, the other day I washed this up because I was after I tried it on I was a bit afraid that it wouldn't go uh, wouldn't fit that it wasn't going to grow enough and that I wouldn't be able to block it like big enough because the gauge lengthwise is just a bit off but I just threw it in the washing machine and just washed it and here you can see quite clearly the difference between unwashed that I've knit afterwards and the part that's washed you can see it's like a line here where it has been washed because it's much bigger uh, the part that has been washed uh, and this is without blocking I just washed it and then let it dry so uh, after that I'm quite hopeful that this will fit yeah. I think I still will have to block out the armpits and block out the chest here a bit this is the part where it's like the um, tightest but uh, now that I've washed it, I'm pretty sure that it will fit and I just have nine more rows to go before I'm going to cast off and sew down everything and then wash it one final time and then it will be good to go. So yeah, that was my final update. My son is awake here in the background, so I hope that was not too distracting. But yeah, that's all I had to say. I just wanted to show off like this funny line here between washed and not washed it's not just my knitting gauge that has been thrown off it is from washing One final update. It's been a couple of days since I finished this top now because I had to like man up to weave in all the ends and then after I weaved in all the ends I needed to wash it and block it and wait for it to dry but now it's finally dry and this is my first time wearing it trying it on when it's all done and I really like it. I really like the way it fits. I like the length I ended up, it goes to like right here, so kind of right at my hips, so it fits really nice with every kind of pant. So I'm really happy about that. It is a bit tight in the chest area, I think my gauge was maybe a bit tight, or the gauge on these edges are a bit tight, so it's a bit tight some places, but I think that will fix itself with use. Unfortunately, um, 
the weather isn't that good that I can wear this alone anymore this summer but I think it will look really nice all fall and um, probably this winter with just a simple cardigan together with it and also since it's like so vibrant green it looks really nice with just some basic pink my basic white um, and I also really want to knit up a black cardigan to match with this uh, to work with this and that has been the really dangerous part about knitting this up my uh, knitting list has grown so much just from knitting up this because now I want all the cardigans I can wear with it. I want this in multiple colors. So it's really been building my knitting list. But I'm really pleased to be finished with it now. And I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Both uh, on its own or as a layering piece together with a cardigan. I think it will be lovely. But it did take up way more yarn than I, than I thought. I thought it's such a little top it will take up almost no yarn but I ended up using almost four skeins of yarn. I used 179 grams of Drops Baby Merino and I think most of that is because of these edges and the tight gauge on those and that really ate up a lot of yarn but I was really surprised with how much this way when I weighed it. I didn't think I had used that much yarn mm, but I'm just really excited to be finished. It was quite a beat to tackle. I knit this all on two and a half millimeters and definitely towards the end here I was ready to be done so I was a bit afraid that I had cast off too soon but it turns out it's just the perfect length so I'm very pleased with that. And now I'm very excited to be able to cast on other projects and work on other projects and maybe it will be a while until I take on such a big project on such small needles. But if you enjoyed this video please leave a like and a comment and if you want to see more from me subscribe. Bye!